what I'm going to talk about today a little bit is um, is is more than anything. Where I know you said stay away from the the changing market, right? But the market is changing, and you've got to be prepared for it. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about how you can do that uh, using a database, and preferably this one's going to be about KV Core. It could be any database that you want to use. So basically, we're going to master lead generation process in the changing market. Okay, the market is changing. The question is, are you ready for it? All right. And what is your lead generation strategy to do so? Okay. Here's the thing. You need a CRM and you need to use it effectively. Okay. If you don't have a CRM right now, which is a contact relationship management uh, system, if you don't have one of those, then you need to make sure that you have one <clears throat> of some sort. It doesn't matter. I used top producer for years. Uh, I know people that use Wise Agent. I know people that use Boomtown. I personally now use KV Core. You can use whatever works for you. Here's the thing. People tell me all the time, well, what CRM is best? The one that you will use. Okay. So we're going to talk about that because if you don't have things lined up in your CRM and, you, and you're not generating the leads and cultivating those leads or allowing the system to cultivate those leads, um, then you are dropping the ball. And you are honestly going to miss out on a lot of business. Okay. So um, what I'm going to kind of jump into just a little bit, we're not going to have time to do all of this stuff. Now I do have uh, an option that we're going to talk about a little bit later on. I, I run a KV core bootcamp. Uh, I'm one of the certified trainers for KV core. Um, and so, you know, a lot of this stuff is in my boot camp. We're not going to have, I've only got 30 minutes today. So it takes me an hour and a half to go through all of this stuff. There's some really, really good stuff. What we're not going to have time to do today is really go over the setup process, setting up your profile, setting up your website settings, things of that nature. I'm going to focus on these things here, which is learning how to navigate KV Core or your CRM, uh, learn the top features of the system, and then how to market the right way. Now, that means marketing your listings, marketing other people's listings, and then how to effectively follow up. So let me go ahead and jump in. I'm just going to share my screen here and show you guys uh, my KV Core system. Let me close some of this stuff out. Okay, so KV Core is a pretty amazing tool. Now, now don't get stuck up on the KV Core thing because this could be Boomtown, this could be Top Producer, this could be Wise Agent, this could be any of those systems. Okay, but you've got to have a system where you follow up with the people because here's what happens: if you take a if you take out a, a, a pen and a, and a little uh, a note card or, or a little sticky note, right? And you write down people's names and phone numbers and their address as they come in as a lead. Guess what? You're never going to keep up with them. You're going to lose that. You're going to lose that piece of paper, whatever it may be. That might be a million dollar listing, and the sticky note slides up under your desk. I've seen it happen so many times. So, guys, I'm telling you right now, if you don't have a digital contact managing system. In my opinion, you are missing the boat, okay? So you've got to have something, not only that you're going to be able to follow up with the people, but that you're going to be able to generate leads as well. That's one of the things you keep hearing over and over and over. Krista talked about it. Uh, Linnea talked about it, right? Is lead generation and conversion, okay? And you've got to be able to lead generate and convert at a high level. That's what you've got to be able to do. If you cannot do those two things, if you cannot lead generate and you cannot convert those leads, you are simply not going to make it in the new market that's coming. And I don't mean that rudely, and I'm not trying to browbeat anyone. I'm just telling you the facts, okay? So in order to do that, you're going to have to step up and go above and beyond what every other realtor is doing, okay? People say, oh, well, I know so-and-so and they don't have a CRM, so-and-so and they don't, they don't do this and so-and-so and they don't do that. You know what? That's because, right, because for the past, I don't know, 10, 11 years, somewhere in that range, right? Literally, business is just kind of thrown into people's laps and all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you take a listing and you've got 15 offers on it and it's going for $100,000 over asking price, right? Those days are slowly but surely going to go away. Now, I do not think we're going back to the 2008-2009 market that we were in 
where we had subprime rates and all that different stuff. And, you know, we had we had lending to people that shouldn't be lended to and all that. I, I don't think that's going to be the case. Plus, also, another thing that you need to understand about that is that there was so many homes on the market already. They were already on the market. And then you release a flood of foreclosures, a flood of short sales. And now you've got so many homes on the market with only so many buyers, right? So that, that is, I don't think that 2008, 2009 is going to happen. I think this is going to be more of a market correction. But if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have a system put in place and you don't have a follow-up system to where you know how you're going to generate your leads, you know how you're going to convert those leads, and you know how you're going to follow up with those leads, well, then guess what? You're simply not going to survive during this market, okay? Because it will change. It's not going to be handed to you anymore. You're going to have to go out and actually do the work. Just like Kristen was talking about, you've got to go out and do the videos, right? You've got to get out and you've got to do the work that the other agents are not willing to do, okay? Now, all right, I'll beat you up there. Sorry about that. But I wanted to get that across because I think it's very, very important to understand that you know, this market is going to change and you're either going to excel in it or you're going to fall off. OK, and, and we don't want you falling off. We want you excelling. We want you literally rising above the pack. OK, so that's what I'm going to talk about today is how do you do that? First of all, like I said, you've got to have a good CRM. We're going to use KV Core as an example today because that's where I'm certified to train in and I can teach you on that. Of course, we do have our KV Core boot camp, and they're going to tell you all about that. At the end, if you guys stick around, you're going to be able to get my KV Core boot camp for free, which is pretty cool. It's a $350 value. Okay, so you're going to be able to get that. But here, let's go ahead and let's talk about what you can do inside of a CRM, okay, or inside of KV Core, for example. Um, KV Core has got a, a plethora of things that you <clears throat> that you can do, okay? Number one is... All right here, if I go into the smart CRM, you can see the smart CRM here. Okay. Now, first of all, we were talking about street text. Somebody was talking about street text earlier. And we're talking about street text and a CRM working together. So KV Core and street text, I have those two linked together. Okay. And as my street text leads come in, they automatically go into KV Core. And what you got to understand about KV Core, when you're looking for a CRM, let me explain this to you. When you're looking for a CRM, you want a CRM that is going to do just about everything for you, okay? There's a lot of them out there that do not. Most of them do not. There's only a handful that do. Um, and KV Core is one of those. So literally, KV Core will do everything for you with the exception of making the phone call, okay? So it will text message people on your behalf. It will email people on your behalf. Now, of course, you got to have the, the campaign set up, right? And we actually do those campaigns. We actually build out those campaigns for you. We have a buyer campaign and a seller campaign that, that I use myself that get results. That's part of the KV Core Boot Camp. So you don't have to worry about going in and creating your own campaigns and all that good stuff, okay? But you've got to have the right tools uh, for that follow-up system to work. And KV Core does the emails. It does the text messages. If you use the bomb bomb feature in it, you can use a video feature that will actually uh, allow you to send out videos to your clients. Um, you know, they say the number one way to, to close a deal is in person. The number two, as Krista said, and as Linnea said, Linnea said, is, you know, video, right? You've got to have video. And what better way than when a new lead comes in that you're able to hop on a video really quick and go, for example, Brian there at the top, you can see Brian right here. I can, I can do a video. Hey, Brian, it's Shannon here. Uh, you know, I just wanted to reach out to you. I'm, tr you know, I, I noticed that you uh, had required or uh, inquired about uh, your home value. And I wanted to get that information over to you. Plus, I also want to put a face with a name, blah, 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 blah. Right. So you can do those kind of things. And those people draw into you. They feel like they're connected to you. OK, even though they're not, even though they don't know who you are. But when you show up at their house, if you've done video, they already know you, like you, and trust you, and you're that much ahead of the game, okay? So having said that, I was talking about street text. So, it, you know, people say, oh, well, does, I had someone ask me the other day, does street text actually work? Well, okay, guys, just look at this. This is just within this year. 
These are all street tech seller leads. You guys see this? Okay. So, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's within a few months, right? So the thing about it is, guys, is yes, it does work. Okay. Now in KB Core, like I told you, it does everything for you. Okay. With the exception of making the phone calls and going on the appointment. Okay. So if we go over here to the dashboard, let me show you this real quick. When we click on the dashboard inside KB Core, and again, you can use this with any CRM. Um, I just happen to like KB Core and it works very, very well. Okay. Um, but, you know, uh, some CRMs will do it, some won't. So you really want to do your research and do your due diligence on that. But here, as you can see, I can see every home that every person is looking at, the price range just by hovering over it, the, the, the number of bedrooms, the bathrooms, all that good stuff, right? I can also see that it has a fire beside it. If you guys see that, that means that that person has actually been reached out to by KV Core, okay, um, on my behalf. So they've reached out to them. They've either sent them an email or a text message that says, hey, uh, Janice, I noticed that you, uh, that you, you know, viewed this property or you saved this property at 2017 Docacy Road uh, in Morganton. Would you like to take a look at that home or would you like to, uh, you know, you know, or would you like for me to get some more information on that property for you, right? So all of that is what this system does. Now you couple that together with the fact that you can text them, send them a video, do a phone call from there, or email them. It's a pretty neat system. Now here's what's even neater about it. How many times do you generate a lead? And I know we've all done this. You generate a lead online, and it comes back with just an email address and nothing more right? We've all been there, okay? And it's really annoying because then you're trying to figure out, okay, who is this person? What do they want? Well, one thing that KV Core offers, and like I said, not all CRMs offer this, but is they offer something called a lead validation, okay? So if I were to click into here to Kimberly, for example, okay, then what it's going to do is if you see this little uh, award up here that's checked, right? That tells me that Kimberly has been validated. If she's not been validated, here's what's going to happen. That's going to be grayed out. I can click that button and the system is going to reach out through, it's, it's through cold data, okay? But it's going to reach out and find out, okay, this email address, was it used anywhere in Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, any of those? If it was, then it's going to go ahead and import that information. So maybe Kimberly's name is not Kimberly. Maybe it's Teresa. And then it would say, the name we found was Teresa, right? And then it would say, would you like to change that? So I can click a button and it'll automatically change her information. So there's some really, really great things about, about KV Core uh, in that regard. Because again, like I said, if you just get an email address and you get nothing more than an email address, that can be a real challenge because you're trying to figure out, okay, who is this person? what's going on with them. I can find out, you know, where they work. I can find out their Twitter links. I can find out their Facebook links. I can find out their phone number if it's listed. I can find out their address if it's listed. So I can get a lot of information right there. And a lot of people may know this and a lot of people may not. So I just want to make sure that I share that with you. Okay. Um, the insights. So I can give them a score. I can say, okay, this person has uh, a, a valid phone number and a valid email address, I'm going to give them four stars. If they only have one of the one of those two, I'm going to give them three stars. If they're interested in buying or selling, I'm going to give them five stars. Okay. Now, the other thing I can do too is if it's a buyer, this is really neat, is you have your ca ca your campaigns. We do the custom campaigns, like I said, as part of the KV Core Bootcamp, right? Uh, if you guys want to see what we do, you can go to kvcorebootcamp.com and just look and see what we offer. But stick around because like I said, Street Picks has got something really, really cool for you, okay? Um, so, um, but uh, if, if the, the campaigns, you know, once the campaign runs out, you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, you really don't want to keep setting them up on automated campaigns. Automated campaigns are very, um, what's the word, annoying, okay? Uh, they, they, they really don't... Uh, uh, you know, they, they, they're really not that effective. They are to get people to raise their hand and say, yes, I'm interested in buying or selling, right? But they're not that effective when you are uh, um, trying to go from campaign to campaign to campaign to campaign. I've heard people try to do that 
and, and it's it, people just see through the crap, right? It's just really not, uh, it's really not effective. It's really not beneficial to you or to those people. So what I recommend is once the campaign, once, once, they, once they've responded, another thing with KB Core, once they've responded, it will move them from new lead to active lead, okay? Once they've become an active lead, now I can go in and stop that campaign, but, but I want to stay in contact with them, right? So this, this is a buyer. We're going to go over here and we're going to look and see, okay, this person is looking for properties, two and a half bedrooms, one and a half baths, around 179,000, 176,000 in Marion, okay? So now what I can do is I can go over here. The system, keep this in mind, the system, again, not all systems do this. The system is going to automatically look at what they were looking at on my website because I created a, I created a squeeze page or a landing page or whatever, and I pushed them to that particular uh, web, part of my website. Once they get there and they start looking around, that's where this number comes from. That's where this information comes from, okay? Now, I can click on property alerts over here, right? And I can actually see what has the system set up for them. The system automatically goes in based upon what they look at on my website and says, you know what? Hey, they're looking from 140000 to 210000 and they want to be notified. You know, we're going to notify them ASAP. In, in Marion, right? And so literally it's going to go in and pull the particular uh, information that they are looking at. It's gonna update them either ASAP or once a day or whatever it may be. And it's gonna do all of that part for me. I don't have to do that. That's what's so amazing about the whole system. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna set up a market report. I think we heard Krista, I believe it was, talking about market reports. Market reports are very important, right? You want a market snapshot of what's going on. And so whether they're a buyer or a seller, you want a CRM that is going to give them a market report, right? It's going to be a, a, a really nice looking uh, uh, you know, a PDF that comes to them or a video, however you want to do it. Um, and, and you're basically giving them an update on what's going on in that market. Now, this is automated for you. So you can set this up and it'll automatically send it you know, ever so often for them. Um, and there's various different things that you can do about K inside KV Core that, that will allow that to happen, right? Um, the other thing you can do is a voicemail drop. A voicemail drop is great. Um, you do have to pay for it. I don't get paid when you sign up for voicemail drop. I don't get paid when you sign up for core video. Um, but if you're going to do between the two voicemail drop or which is like a ringless voicemail, right? Um, if you're going to, if you're going to sign up for that, then I would recommend going with the core video over the voicemail drop. Because the core video is going to give you unlimited, whereas voicemail drop, you're going to be paying per, uh, I think it's $20 for 250 dials or 150 dials and uh, $30 for 250 dials and $50 for $500 per month. Well, if you've got a lot of people in your database, you're going to blow through those really quickly, right? But with core video, again, you're doing that video, right? Like Crystal was talking about, you're, 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 getting, you're getting involved with them, right? Immediately, you're connecting with them. They want to work with you because you're connecting with them, okay? And the unlimited video allows you to where you can send as many videos as you want to over and over and over. The best part about that is, is you can go into our smart CRM inside of KV Corp, okay? Go to smart CRM, go to all contacts. And again, all of this is in my KV Corp bootcamp. In my KV Corp bootcamp, we actually break this down into 10 uh, bite sized about eight to 10 bite sized modules or about 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes a, a piece, roughly. Um, so you can learn every little intricacy of KV Core. So if you already have KV Core and you need help with this, this is going to be pretty awesome because I've had thousands of agents uh, go through this program and they love it. We do a lot of different stuff with it. I'll show you all the different things that we do inside of the KV Core Bootcamp. And like I said, stick around because Street Text is really going to hook you up here. Okay. So um, you're going to go over and click on 250 rows. So you've got 10, 25, 50, 100, 250. So I like to make that 250 so I can reach as many people as possible, right? Then I'm going to go over here and I can use my filters if I want to. And I can say, I only want my new leads, right? And remember the hashtags and things we were talking about, you know, hashtagging people or giving them a rating, right? I can click on contact details here and say, I only want my sellers, right? And I only want people that have a four-star rating or a five-star rating, or, or maybe just leave that blank, right? It doesn't matter. Um, then I can go over here 
to the hashtags and I could put in Marion or I could put in Morganton or I could put in Asheville. It doesn't matter. I could literally uh, put in anything I wanted here. So let's say I got a new listing and, I, and it was in that area and I wanted to reach out to just those particular buyers. I could do that. I could scroll down here and say, I want people that only have a phone number so I can call those particular people, right? And then apply those filters. Now, once I've applied those filters, we're just going to assume that those filters applied for, for time's sake here. I'm going to click over here in this beside first name. I'm going to click that box. Okay. Well, maybe it'll work. There we go. Okay. Yep. So you can see here, it highlights all of them. Okay. And then I can mass email them, mass text message them, or mass video message them. I highly, highly recommend the mass video message because you can do a quick video like this. You can pull up just your sellers, right? And let's say those leads came in uh, and, and they were all sellers. And you just basically would say something like this. Hey, I was browsing through uh, my database today and I noticed that you were thinking about selling your home last year. I'm not sure if you were able to get that home sold or if it's still something you'd like to do, right? So that's just a quick thing you can do, but you could do a quick little video, introduce yourself, and then basically what will happen is they will respond back to you and say, oh, yeah, I'm thinking about selling my house. I I've done this. And you can, by the way, you can reuse the same video. So you scroll down to the bottom, scroll to the next page, you're going to get another 250. Scroll to the next page, you're going to get another 250, right? And so literally you can go through and do this for a thousand people in your database in a matter of a couple of minutes, right? Because you record the video one time, you just keep sharing it over and over with the different <clears throat> with the different uh, segments, the different pages here, right? So that's a great way to revitalize your database. If you've got a database and you want to you get them back up and running, go through, pull up the buyers. Hey, I noticed you, you had said you were wanting to buy a house uh, you know, a year or two ago. Just wondering, is that something that's still, that's still in your plans or have your plans changed, right? Either way is fine with me. That's a great way to revitalize your database. And whether what, no matter what database you, you, you have, you want to make sure that you're constantly revitalizing that database and that you're turning that database over, right? So you want to make sure that if they're a, you know, if, if they're an active lead, right, that they're truly active. If they're not, then you're going to move them to an inactive status, right? Um, so, so you've got to kind of, kind of keep up with that, right? And people say, well, what if someone tells me not to call them back? Okay, well, then archive them and move on. You know what? In, in, in this business, it's some will, some won't. Some will, some won't, so what next, right? And remember that, write that down. Some will, some won't, so what next? We've all heard that, but I'm telling you, it, don't get beat up when, when people want to uh, drop off of your database. It's okay, things change. They don't wanna buy, they don't wanna sell, whatever it might be that they're, you know, that they're uh, going through at that time, okay? So that's a great way right there just to revitalize your database. The other thing that you can do is you can, you can do some marketing, right? So inside of KB Core, now not all CRMs, again, allow you the ability to market. This is just KB Core or KB Core and Boomtown, some others, right? Um, but you got to remember, with KB Core, you get a website too, okay? Now the website, you know, uh, you know the, web, the, the website is, <laughs> is a stock website, right? It's kind of a uh, templated website, but it, it, it's what I call a sticky website. And it draws people in and they look at properties and as they look at properties, it kind of pulls them in and then has them sign up. And that's how you can get those leads, okay? So over here, you can go into listings, you can go to filters applied. Say, let's say you don't have any listings. This is all, by the way, that's everybody. That's all brokerages, doesn't matter. Keller Williams, doesn't matter, whoever it is, right? Um, my listings would be just your listings, but if you don't have listings and with KB Core, you can at least go into agency listings, right? And depending upon where you're at, some states allow this, some states don't. So you want to check with your, you know, check with your broker and see if that's if that's something that they allow. Okay. Um, but what you can do is you can go through and pull up a property, for example, right? We'll just grab this one here. And right here, you can see it has this person's phone number. So I'm just going to send her a quick text message and say, hey, you know, I noticed that you had a great new property on Candela Drive. Uh, I really think, uh, you know, I could bring you some buyers for that. And, and I don't have any listings right now. Do you mind if I market that home? Right. And most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, the agents will say, yeah, sure. No problem. Go ahead and market the home. Right. And so you could actually go in here. And if you wanted to, you could pay to boost the property. That's where you pay KV Core to boost the property. You could certainly do that. Right. You can click on more actions down here. You can, you know, email it as a hashtag, text it as a hashtag. You can generate a QR code, right. Print a flyer. 
If you want to post it to Facebook, it's really simple. Just click post to Facebook. Okay. And it's going to bring up a preview of the property. When it brings up a preview of the property, what's going to happen is you're just going to type in a little bit of information about that particular property. You don't want to put much information in there, just very little, right? Beautiful brick home, great neighborhood, whatever it is, right? And then always end it with just put a, a few blurbs about the home and then put dot, 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 okay? Because you want them to go, wait a minute, what featuring what? Featuring what, right? You want them to click because if you give them all the information right there, they're not going to click through and you're going to lose that lead, okay? So you got to remember, less is more when lead generate. Less is more when lead generate, okay? Um, the next thing you want to do, you know, you can go down here, post it to Twitter, post it to Pinterest. Posting to Craigslist is a breeze within KV Core. Now, I can't speak for all CRMs, but literally I can click post to Craigslist. You guys see me, I'm taking my hands completely off the computer right now, right? And the system is going through right now and it's putting all of the information in for me, including the photos of the property, okay? And all I have to do once it gets done here is hit publish because the system is automatically going to go in and put in all of this information for me, okay? This doesn't typically happen with most CRMs. I can't say which ones do and which ones don't. I just know that KB Core does, okay? And you can see here, it's got all my information. It's got my text number that they can text to get more, get, get more pictures, more information, right? And then I can hit publish, right? And it's off to the races. So that's a great way to utilize someone else's listing if I don't have any listings at the moment, okay? Matching buyers is an amazing, uh, uh, amazing tool as well. It goes through your database and it searches to see if there are any buyers that meet the criteria of that home. If there are, it'll bring them up right here, right? There may be many of them. You can mass text message them, mass email them, things of that nature. The last thing I want to talk about here in KV Core is we're not going to have time to get into landing pages and call capture and all that different stuff because I was told I had 30 minutes and I'm trying to make this as, as brief as possible. But building a squeeze page, right? So the difference between a landing page and a squeeze page, please understand this, a landing page is you land on a website and you must put in information to gather information. If you don't put in your information, you're not gonna get any more information from it, right? That's how this works. Now, if you do a squeeze page, you let them look around a little bit, right? They look at one or two or three properties or whatever it is, and you slowly squeeze them in because they go, oh, you know what, gosh, I was just looking at that one, but I really wanna see that one and they have to sign up in order to do so, okay? So let me show you how to do this real quick, like, okay? So if you wanna build one of these, let's say we're gonna build one for Asheville, North Carolina, right? Just one of my areas. So we'll put Asheville, okay? City of Asheville, put that in. Then I can put listing type, coming soon, and single family, okay? Now here, I could put in price ranges and all that different stuff if I wanted to. I don't want to. I wanna go down to options because an option tells me what page they're gonna land on whether they're gonna land on a just listed page or they're gonna land on a golf course page or a waterfront page or whatever it is, where do I want them to land? So let's just say for time's sake, we want them to land on just listed, right? I'm gonna go up here to my source. I'm gonna put in SM for social media. Then I wanna hashtag those areas. So I'm gonna put hashtag Asheville, right? And then I wanna put hashtag just listed, just so I've got those hashtags so that I could go back in the smart CRM and pull all those up whenever I get a listing in Asheville. Makes sense? Okay. Facebook cover photo. This varies in, in different states. This is, to, this is something you have to check with your broker to see if you're allowed to do in your state. In my state, we can use the top one. It says not compliant in all areas. Your state may require you to use something only from your brokerage or only from your uh, firm. Okay. So you've got to check and see what your uh, state, what your, uh, what your state allows. Okay. And then here I can click on generate link and it's going to give me this link. Now I can copy that link, right? And I can literally go right over into my Facebook business page or my personal page. It doesn't matter, right? And then I can build out an ad that looks something like this, okay? So then what you want to do there is this is where, you know, you can go in and again, we don't have time to do all this. We go through all of this in the boot camp, but you can share the uh, the post 
to your personal page. You can share it to groups. I highly recommend you belong to groups, yard sales, trade sales, swap and shops. If you like cars, get into a car group. If you like uh, motorcycles, get into a motorcycle group, whatever it is, right? Um, and share in there. Don't overshare because there are rules and guidelines for those, for those particular areas, right? So you don't want to overshare, but you do want to share a little bit. Uh, and if you do it, if you do it just <clears throat> very gently, um, it's not going to be an issue. Okay. I've never had it be an issue for that. Then you can also go into boosting the property and you can boost it for, let's say, maybe you want to run it for a week, $2 a day, $14, right? Um, again, you know, they were talking about, you have to get out there on Facebook and you have to run ad campaigns. This is running an ad campaign. It's a very easy way to run an ad campaign. Okay. So again, all this stuff is in the boot camp. Let me just kind of jump back over here and then I'm going to turn back over to Marcus because I want to show you guys, uh, you know, what, what is covered in the boot camp. So it says here, uh, if you want help with KB core, let me go ahead and open this back up and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll turn it back over to Marcus because I'm trying to stick to my time here. Um, so want help with KB core? Here's what we do. Okay. On demand videos, A through Z, everything you need to know about KB core. Literally, we're going to walk you through it from A to Z. We're going to show you exactly what to do. That's if you have KB core, if you don't have KB core, then obviously this would not pertain to you unless you wanted to get KB core, uh, customization of website, right? We're going to customize your website. We're going to, uh, integrate, integrate all your social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. We're going to showcase the areas that you serve. We're going to create a buyer and a seller custom campaign that gets results, not the default ones, right? We're going to build a customized email signature for you. People love it. It's got clickable links and all kinds of cool stuff in it. We're going to import your testimonials. If you have a recruiting site or a secondary site you want it linked to, we will certainly do that. Um, a Facebook cover photo, right? Um, these are optionals. You can opt in for these if you want to, but you can have a Facebook cover photo that's done for your business page or your personal page, whichever one you want. We'll create the squeeze pages for you. We'll create 10 buyer and 10 seller squeeze pages for you. They're ready to go, ready to market, right? Uh, lifetime access to our private Facebook group. And uh, of course we do, uh, it says weekly training. We don't actually do the weekly training, uh, but what we've got training through in uh, th periodically throughout there. Uh, in our Facebook group. So again, this is a $347 value, but, uh, you know, golly, you know, Jonathan and Mar Marcus at, at Street Tech have said, if you guys stick around, they are going to hook you up. We're all going to hook you up with uh, my bootcamp at, at no cost.